So I just recorded this whole video that took around 30 minutes to do without pressing the record button. So we're just gonna try this again. We meet again, and today is my one year anniversary on YouTube. So that means I'm one years old. Is it w one years, one year? Anyways, I just wanted to start this off with thank you so much for this amazing community. Um, you guys made this possible. I'm the one who makes crappy videos on my bed. And yeah, I bet you're clicking on this video because of this insane title. Which, bear with me, I will get to. Don't click off yet. I see you trying to click off right there. Bear with me. So I've never had good luck with pets. Um, usually it always comes down to A, my dad's a terrible pet owner. B, my mom's a terrible pet owner and hates pets in general and C, uh, wait, what was A? We're all bad pet owners is what you need to know. None of us can keep anything alive, not even plants. So I wanted to talk about some stories about all of the pets that I've had that have died. <laughs> huh, this is a pretty depressing video for one year. Anyways, the first pets that I was allowed to have were hamsters, and I had around three of them. Not around, I had three of them. First one I got when I was six years old, and his name was Hammy because I'm six years old and I suck at naming things. I had him for around two months until my dad noticed that his cage began to get in odor. So logically he's like, oh, let's go wash this hamster. Let's go wash this little hamster that fits in the palm of your hand. Goes to the sink, puts like five pumps of hand soap on it, and then like holds it under the sink for around 10 seconds. Um, an analogy for humans, you have soap being shoved down your mouth and what's the biggest waterfall? You're under Niagara Falls. After my dad finished cleansing that hamster, uh, he put a hair dryer next to it and just went like, so another analogy for humans is you trying to go through a wind tunnel. Obviously, that hamster died. A rest in peace, Hammy. And uh, yeah, my dad's not really smart with these things. Cause our second hamster I had for one month and I don't even remember the name of it. But my dad tried to wash it again. But for some reason, our sink didn't have that plug that day. So um, remember, a hamster that fits in the palm of your hand and a sink that doesn't have a stopper, put the two together and you get a hamster that falls down the sink. Just Gone. I don't know where it went. So yeah, rest in peace, hamster number two. Hamster number three. Um, I named him Snickers because he was 50 shades of brown. And he was the fattest one because I fed him the most. But the reason why I fed him the most is because it knew how to get out of its cage. And I don't know how a hamster can do that. But every time it went out, I would just bring its food bowl outside, fill it up to the brim, and the next day I checked back it was somehow in the food bowl. An average life of a hamster, a dwarf hamster, um, I think is around two years. I had him for four years. Four painful years of him getting lost. It was an abusive relationship on his end. Or my end. What's it? Is it my end or his end? Um, and the last time I saw him, it just, he didn't come back into the food bowl. Rest in peace, Snickers. So yeah, hamsters weren't my strong suit. And I got two bunnies, cookies and cream. One was light brown, one was spotted. Amazing names, am I right? So Cookies and Cream lived in a really small cage. It's about this thick and the size of, oh, what the hell, this, okay? It's about as long as that. From here to here. Now, at the time, I didn't know their gender, and Cookies was a male, and Cream was a female. But they did um, rabbit sex. And I had around 10 more babies in my yard the next day. But because I'm terrible at feeding rabbits, um, they ate all of them. Twice. They had 10 more babies in the next week. It just kept on having them and having them and I'm like, what are you doing? They were just really horny rabbits. So I was like, you know what? I need to release you into the wild so you can be free. And when I opened that door, they left and they never came back. And every now and then, if I, and every time I was sleeping, um, sometimes I would hear something outside and I go see a small bunny and I was like, Cream, is that you? But it wasn't him. So I can only assume that they had more babies and those finally lived. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're dead now, so rest in peace, Cookies and Cream. Yeah, I won't have a pet, maybe until I'm an adult. So if you guys enjoyed this very morbid video <laughs> for one year, um, give it a like, leave a comment down below, or better yet, subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. I love you guys and everything is less than three. And once again, thank you for this community.